Hi, I'm Rob from RobinandPhoto.com and what I'd like to do is just quickly just show you a way that you can customise your HTC One Max or any Android smartphone really to really make it work for you. Um, and this is by customising your home screen. So on the HTC One Max, um, it's a kind of a bit of a cross between uh, normal Android, stock Android that you might find on like a Galaxy Nexus product, and uh, we've also got the kind of skin, if you like, of HTC Sense, which is this very powerful customization that HTC add to their phones that make it um, very usable and very interactive. So I've set mine up so my home screen is the middle one um, and you can see the time at the top and then we've got lots of folders that we can create that have got my apps in. On the left we've got Blink Feed which is like a, I guess you could call it kind of like a super RSS feeder for all your content so it can pull in stuff from Facebook, Flickr, favorite websites, different subjects. Um, you can put in RSS feeds on it. Very, very powerful, great way of consuming uh, lots of different content. And then what we've got here is a, I like to call this my work screen because it's got some useful functions that basically I use all the time at work. But let's just take a step backwards and see how we get on. So. As you can see here, we've got the basic home screen. So we've got the clock widget at the top. We've got the Google search bar just across there. We've got my power um, and functions bar across there. And then we've got all my apps within folders. So if you're new to Android, you might wonder what these are. Well, all the different programs you have on, um, you, we, you know, we tend to call them apps and uh, you can put them on your home screen or you can access them all from this little button here. So we've got all the, all the apps all ready to go. Um, but you put them on the home screen so you can organize them together. So let's just move that back on where it should be, which is over there. So what we can do is we can now add, say, uh, apps to this particular screen here. So the way that we can do that is we, let me just use my other hand. We can squeeze that together and this screen pops up. And now what we can do is we can choose to add um, apps to that screen. We can choose to add widgets now widgets are like a little bit of an app that works live on the screen so you can actually use some of the functionality of the widget without going into it so you've got things like bbc news uh, there's a podcasting one there depending on the app and a, a calendar one so you can actually see the information you want without firing up and then we've got shortcuts so shortcuts be bookmarks the internet sites and playlists direct dials um, directions to particular places all that sort of stuff so very very powerful indeed so let's go back to the home screen so as I say on the home screen what you notice along here at the bottom if you can see it is I've got folders because you can also put apps within folders so you can get all the stuff you you know that's maybe related or you want quick access to together so for example in the middle I've got files so if I click on that one we've got the link to all my downloads I've got a file manager I've got an Aldeco ebook reader and I've got Google Drive all set up superb for there. In my social folder, I've got Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, and Vine. Really easy to use, fantastic, you know, so simple to add things to uh, particular um, folders as well. Now, this is the screen I really wanted to share with you. This is where you can start to really customize your home screen to make it very useful for specific situations. And you can add as, you know, home screen stuff. I mean, I've got a blank one there, but I could add another one. Now, I like to call this one my, my work home, uh, home screen or my work screen because it has lots of the functions that I would use when I'm at work, all in one nice little place. Now, the first thing is you'll see, I've got a nice calculator because we're always trying to work things out, prices, discounts, uh, functions, um, things like that. So that's useful to have a nice one. As soon as I turn on my phone, bang, it's there. I can do, use my calculator. But it's quite a simple calculator, that one. So if I want something that's got a lot more functions, I've got a link to an app up here called Recal Real, Real Calc that I downloaded from the internet. So if, if I fire that up, I've got a fully functioning scientific calculator with things like percentages on it square roots all that sort of stuff very powerful indeed now i've also got a conversion calculator again this is another app where what i can do with this is i can say actually um let's talk about something like um length i don't know whether you'll be able to see this very well on the screen because it's a little bit bright but i can say okay what is 
12 inches and if I scroll down that will tell me that is 30.48 centimeters very useful here in the UK because we tend to run in decimal and imperial so there's always things in inches and centimeters and we've got to convert them so let's go back to my home screen so that's very good there isn't it now I've now got next to it so there, there are two app links there I've now got next to it here a um, link to a website and it's a link to a um, higher website that's got a very handy calculator for working out if you want to um, work out what what power of heater you want to heat a certain place you can put in the volume the temperature uh, the um, insulation factor and it'll tell you the BTUs you need so incredibly useful if somebody comes into my work and says you know how can I work out what heater is I can use that now next to it I've got a folder up here and this is a folder that contains internet bookmarks that take me straight to power tools uh, manufacturers so I can go straight and look at so I've got Ryubi, DeWalt, Bosch and Makita so if somebody's interested in a particular power tool I can click on that go straight through to DeWalt's website and have a look around and uh, check out the different tools are there to help people out to choose which is best for what they particularly need and then next there I've got the screw fits catalog again a competitor always good to see what they're up to I've got a link there to yell.com if I need to look for a local supplier or something like that I can uh, get into there and then down here on the bottom left hand corner I've got a link to the machine mark website so again that's a bookmark for the internet nice and fast that way and then I've got another internet link and this one takes me to a place where you can download manuals for the products we sell and then really interesting as well is what here I've got a folder called places you might just be able to see that and what happens with these is these are links to um, Google map direction so if somebody comes in and says actually how do I get to machine mart in Southampton I can just click on that link there and then it will give it a second or two hopefully it's gonna find out there we go from where I am now wherever that might be to where the place is in Southampton so I can simply zoom in on that and show people if they want to go there look this is how you do it and these would be the directions so what, what hopefully you can see there is that with a little bit of imagination and thinking about what you use your phone for an awful lot of the time you can put all those things into one home screen on your on your phone and they can be there as soon as you turn it on now the great thing about the HTC One Max is the fact that it, the screen is so big and so crisp is that you can fit a lot more icons and folders and widgets onto the particular page but um, maybe by watching this video it's giving you some ideas about what you could do and how you could customize your phone so it works even better and more productively for you at work or at home right well my name's rob from robnumphoto.com thanks for watching